these can together. During extended learning time, many of the students are going over answers that they got wrong on their tests so that they can restudy the material to take a retest. This is adaptive instruction and get special help if they need help to understand why they missed those questions the first time. So, yeah. if you wanted the... Wait, are you filming this? Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just filming. I'm not really filming you. I'm filming the uh, discussion. I'm recording the discussion. So, if you have chlorine that has 17 protons and 18, 18 neutrons... 18 minus 17 equals 1. Let's so many. Uh, now, the question is, what would it be called, right? Chlorine 1. Hmm? It's not chlorine 18. Yeah. No, it's, it's an isotope. Remember when we learned about isotopes? No, no that's why it's a max question. I yeah. don't know what that one is either. Isotopes are atoms with different numbers of neutrons. So, so the atomic weight of this particular chlorine would be what? 35. So the atomic weight would be 35. So it would be called chlorine 35. How do you know no. that name? Never taking another science class again. Me either. Science is my worst subject. It's not sorry. that bad. I just, I'm not good at it. Because I'm just dumb. I don't know what even the way The way isotopes are named, um, there's like carbon-14, right? We talked about carbon-14 with oxy. Yeah. So carbon-14, carbon is six protons, and normally six neutrons, so it's carbon-12. But the isotope, carbon-14, has two more neutrons. So we call it carbon-14 because the total atomic weight is about 14. Atomic units. Uh, for number five, isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same number of protons and different number of Alright, so he'd have to write in the yeah, question down in the question for number five. Is and uh, it makes the DNA molecule nonpolar. So it's like vegetable oil. And it uh, it won't mix with water then. But it'll come out, it'll be light, like grease that floats on water, and it'll float up and it'll get right into the alcohol. And then you can pick it out of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, so it separate, separate, separates the DNA from the rest of the solution. Yeah, from the from the soapy water solution, right? Yeah, simple chemistry in this case. It's about like you do at your sink at home when you're trying to wash your hands from spilling the Italian dressing. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a good idea. You can hold it a little. Bit. You ever strain? You ever use cheesecloth to strain anything in, in cooking? We we used to use it, but in making crepe cockers. You know, ever hear of that crepe cockers? Mm -hmm. You have it's it's potatoes, but you first you peel the potatoes, then you grate the potatoes. Then you squeeze all the juice out by putting it into cheesecloth, and then you take the, the grated potatoes and you add a little bit of that juice back in because that's where a lot of starch is, so it'll stick together. And you make little meatball type things and you put meat in the center, then you pressure cook them, and it, uh, it changes the flavor of the potato to a totally different flavor. Pretty good. It's a Norwegian thing. The La Lithuanians have it and they call it. They make it in a casserole, and they call it kuglia. Uh, now we have to pour this in there. Yeah, now you get rid of that, and you can pour the cold <coughs> alcohol in. <laughs> I 
And watch what happens. Like all on the top, it all goes to that. Yep. You see all the white strands? Mm -hmm. There's your goober stick. Now we have to just. You just reach in there and. Yeah, you're just really just going to try to attach the DNA to your little goober stick. There you go. <gasps> DNA, huh? Yeah. I'm not going to taste it. I bet it tastes like strawberries. Probably. It must be where, you know, it must be where the strawberry okay, gets its flavor, the right? From the DNA. Thing, I guess. That's what it says. What's it feel like? So that's it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't really feel like it. Doesn't feel like slimy, sticky or anything? It's wet. It doesn't yeah, feel it doesn't feel like what it looks like, does it? No. Alright. DNA? I bet it tastes like strawberries though, because that must be where strawberries get their flavor, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's easy. Now you can do it at home. Watch it develop. The alcohol floats on the top. Are those all strands in there? Yep. Really? Yep. That's White cool. strands of DNA. Mm. Alright, let's, let's get it all. Just in the, just in the alcohol here. Gently. There you go. What? That's it! That's gross. Da -na -na. Da -na. DNA. Touch it. Yeah, you can touch Dinner. it. It's just. I touch it. Uh, it's greasy, right? It feels so gross. Yeah. Like spit. Yeah. Just kidding.